Welcome to our second project. In this project we are going to create what you see above. Our end result will probably be a bit different than what you see here. Probably our end result might look better. Besides creating the scene that you see above, I also will show you how to create a variation on this scene, just to show you that you don't have to be restricted to what I am teaching you in this project. So I hope you will enjoy following this project with me, and that it will inspire you and give you the techniques to create awesome artworks and animations by yourself. We are going to start off with this project by creating first the main dimension with the energy flowing upwards and with the orangey cloudy stuff as you can see in the small animation above. In this lecture we are just going to add place and connect the nodes without changing the values. In the next lecture we will then change the values and settings to create our dimension. The first thing we can do is to delete our default cube and our lamp since we are not going to need them. Instead, we can add a UV sphere in the center where the 3D cursor is placed. We can also add more segments and rings. With our camera selected, we can switch to front view and align our camera to front view as well with Ctrl Alt 0. Now our camera became aligned with our active view. We can select our UV sphere and scale it to double the size by pressing S and while keeping S pressed, press the number 2. Then we can go into edit mode and scale up the sphere even more with the S key, so that the total dimension is around 21 units or meters. I know it totally looks like a strange workflow, but somehow that is how it happened with my work file and gave me the right result. So here you can see it is around 21. Now we can move our camera inside the big sphere, because our camera will be flying inside this volumetric dimension and not outside. We can hide our panel on the right with the N key, and slide open an extra window and set it to the node editor. We can also collapse these two panels here with the N and then the T key respectively. Then with our sphere selected we can add a new material. In the node editor we can delete the diffuse shader. Now I am simply going to add and duplicate all the needed nodes, during which I will not talk since it is a simple straightforward process.
Alright, now all the needed notes are added. If you missed some notes, then pay attention when I am hovering over them again. Out of curiosity, let's check out how it looks like in the Cycles viewport render. It seems it does not look like much, but that is going to change dramatically in the next lecture. So I thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture.